Hey everybody, welcome to another uh, episode of Nerds Drink Whiskey. Uh, I'm going to do a blind t another blind taste test. <laughs> ooh, ooh, I'm blind, I'm blind. Uh, I think I'm going to try and do these like pretty much every third or fourth episode. Uh, basically, you, you, I do the reviews and then after I've done like three, four reviews, then I, I test my knowledge on those reviews. Uh, fair warning, uh, if you notice, my face is a little red today. Uh, it's because I just got done mowing the lawn in 80-some degree weather. Uh, and uh, in the searing heat, uh, uh, I'm a Washingtonian, so we don't do well in the heat at all. Uh, and there is a lot of very unshaded areas, so uh, I'm, I'm a little uh, little heated right now. So, uh, But that's, that's pretty much it. Um, so today, uh, the, the whiskeys that I'm going to be doing a blind taste test on uh, are uh, Michter's Straight Rye, uh, which, uh, interesting, I never tasted any rye in the whiskey. They're, they're, I really, it's, I think they put like just the tiniest bit of rye in there. Um, the Wild Turkey Straight Bourbon. Uh, which is way better than you remember. Go go watch episode 239. Uh, and episode 240 was Bib and Tucker Bourbon, which had a very unique, uh, very robust... Natural, robust, open, carefree... Kind of a, a taste to it. Um, and then uh, I'm going to revisit uh, Old Granddad, because uh, it, it has a very strong rye. And it's actually called a rye bourbon, so... Um, so yeah, so we got, we got one that, that, that just claims to be a rye bourbon and has a strong, probably the strongest rye of any rye bourbon out there. Uh, and then we got one that claims to not be a bourbon, but just a straight rye. And, uh, it, it's, it's, there's barely any rye in there at all. Uh, so we got those four and, uh, I'm going to do my best to try and not make a fool of myself. So, uh, uh I always say. Uh, test your knowledge. Uh, see if you can, you know, find a blind taste test. Uh, if this thing got, if my show got enough, uh, if we got enough traction in the uh, Puget Sound, Northwest Washington State area, um, if we had enough uh, of a following locally, uh, I could do events and we could do blind taste testings for the public as soon as uh, uh, this coronavirus goes away, as soon as COVID-19 uh, is gets vaccines and, and rampant testing. So, uh, but uh, until that happens, uh, no matter what my numbers are or how spread out uh, the viewership is, uh, we can't do that anyway. So I'm just going to do it all by myself. My wife has uh, set me up uh, with uh, the four whiskeys. So I'm going to try and taste these and see if I can guess which one is which. Uh, I don't have my worksheet in front of me. Um, so, uh, but uh, she, I think we're, we're grabbing the worksheet right now. And uh, so, but anyways, here I go. Um, and by the way, there, there's uh, my co-host, uh, Austin the dog is uh, way off camera. She, she's, she's being, you know, you know, you know, those starlets, they've, they only go on camera when they, when their agent says so. I don't know who her agent is. So anyways, Dark Helmet, do your thing. Ludicrous speed! <gasps> it's weird. Once the labels are gone, once you don't have the packaging to look at, like right before I went on camera, I kind of did a little bit of a, a, a quick crash course study, you know, to, did like a little tiny one third of a shot of a couple of these, just to kind of refresh my memory on the different subtleties that each of them had. And it seemed very obvious it seemed extremely obvious. But then once the packaging isn't in front of you, it becomes very difficult. So uh, 
I got to say, I challenge people to do uh, blind taste tests for yourself. Uh, it's uh, it's very enlightening to uh, find out what you know and what you don't know, what you think you know and what you don't know, because you you probably think you know whiskey more than you really do. I don't know. I don't know. And when you're doing a blind taste test, you drink a lot of water. <laughs> I probably drank way more water than I did whiskey here. Uh, so uh, here I find out. I don't feel very confident in this at all. Uh, like I said, I did a quick uh, study right before and I, I was so confident with the label sitting in front of me. Like, oh yeah, this one, the wild turkey has kind of a, a very strong maple smell. And, uh, you know, the, this one kind of has like a little bit of a vinegary kind of a finish. And this one here has a nice, strong, robust finish. And this one here has a, oh, it's very strong rye. The rye is, rye is very prominent. And you think there's no way I could mess, you could mess this up. It seems so obvious. And then, like I said, the labels get taken away. And you got to guess. And uh, it becomes... It becomes very, very difficult, very, very quick. Uh, so I don't feel very confident in this. Let's see what I got. Uh, for A, I got wild turkey. Ding, ding, ding. Yes? Yep. Hey! Got that one right. For B, I got old granddad. Ah, uh, wrong. For C, I got Michter's. No. And D is uh, Biv and Tucker. No. I got three out of four wrong. That's just embarrassing. So I'm going to be doing a rematch on this. I failed this one again. I even I even studied for the test beforehand. What what is up? See you next week for another episode of Nerds Drink Whiskey.